everybody. We'll wait until everybody gets on. Anybody there? <laughs> We're not entirely sure this is working. Oh, it's not. Two people. All right. Who do we got? We need a sound check. Five people. Seven people. There we go. Sound is good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. What's up, everybody? We're going to wait a few more minutes. There we go. Hello. Hello. So today was an interesting day around here. Uh, we had a, a tropical storm. Yeah, yesterday. It wasn't a hurricane. It was a tropical storm. And apparently the Connecticut hasn't had this much power outage since 1984. Uh, that's what we heard today. So it's pretty crazy. So neither of us had power this morning or last night. Yes. Uh, we had no Wi-Fi. <laughs> Spotty phone service, and we're, we're kind of going by the seat of our pants today because yep. we weren't really sure how this was all going to work out. We do have power <laughs> in here. Um, but no Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi, so uh, we're using my my cell phone, which apparently the, the cell service is working, but we shall see. So right. it's going to be a little bit more live-ish than usual, if that's even possible. So, so if it drops out and we just vanish, <laughs> it's not us. Um, we're sort of half expecting that because it's been, you know, like the entire state of Connecticut is basically down. What is that thing? That never came up before. No. It says Master Spouse is loud now. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So today's live is all about water features, all about different things. Um, it's a little bit of a small view because we had to go on a phone. The iPad can't work and there's no Wi-Fi. So it's going to be a little different. We've got the... Hi, Susan. Uh, we've got the tripod up. We're going to move it around. Melanie, what's going on? And remember, everyone, we definitely want to hear where you're from. Okay? So if you pop on yeah, there, definitely let us know where you're, where you're watching from. We've got 51 people on there. So we've got our, our marching orders right here. And then, of course, we have questions. Philadelphia. Uh, beautiful. Chris? So, what do you want to start with? Sure. So, one of the things we're going to talk about today is the propulsion jets and how they work. We're going to just look a, a little bit at the different speeds. Everything is well. Everything is well. <laughs> this is going to be tough. So, again, just to <laughs> clarify, we are in the H2X Challenger 15 Deep. Um, so, we are going to look at the propulsion jets in this unit, obviously. And um, I'm gonna just kind of come over here so that yeah. we can... This one? Yeah. I think it's, is it backwards though when you look at it? I don't, I don't know. I but just, if you show around. the, did you show the jets? Like, oh. <laughs> this is like really challenging yeah. to do with the okay. phone. All right, all right. Uh, we just upgraded from Hot Tub Trainer 15 Swim Spa. I'm pumped. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna spin this around here. Hang on a second. We right. definitely there got we go. some, uh, it, there was some power, power outage here because the screen Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, on the challenge... Do you want to go to the big one? I think oh, I'm going to okay. better to go to the big one. All right. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity. So, I'm going to do my very best not to shake the camera like this and make everybody nauseous. So, in the H2X, I just turned that air conditioning off. It didn't work. It must be hot out. So, in the H2X, you have, these are the seated... The hot tub, uh, you know, spa seats, okay, for the therapy. So we'll get to the therapy cove later. And then this is a Challenger 15 Deep, which is the same as the H2X Trainer 15 Deep. So this is the neck and shoulder seat. As you can see, there's a lot of jets in there. Now, uh, as a point of interest, anyone who does any research on our hot tubs always kind of lands on a Twilight as being the go-to for jets. You see the lights on there. So the, the jets in the H2X Trainer 15, the Challenger 15, the 19, they are the same as the Twilight, okay? And that might be something that we never really, it's kind of a maybe taken for granted or something that we just don't ever mention, but the Twilight jets are epic. 
and you want to pop one out? There you go. So that's a deep tissue, a small deep tissue. Too close. Small. <laughs> you like bump, bumped it right into like we were sticking it up somebody's nose. So they, they work real well. You're going to take out one of each? Okay. There you go. So the Twilight Jets are interchangeable and the H2Xs are the same. Okay. And then the, of course, the, the Michael Phelps has the same jets as well. All right. So what do we got there? That's a, that's a spinner. spinner. So how I always tell people this, if you can hold all three of those up right there. So that is the deep tissue. That feels like the thumb, you know, digging for gold. And it's directional. Yeah, it's directional. And then the spinner feels like a hand squeezing. That's that guy there as it spins around. And then the gentle right there feels like a palm. So it's more gentle. I always say it's like kind of like a shower head, but that's different. Yeah, I always kind of do the thumb and palm, but hey, the shower head works. So they're all interchangeable. So no matter what spot you've got going on, you can put the different kind of jet there and it works really, really well. You got a question already. Can you juggle, Mary? No. <laughs> I'm gonna answer for her. I know that she cannot. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have that kind of coordination. Um, so. And then, so by size, so you've got oh, these I'm gonna grab three a big one. same jets, the three different types of jets in the big jets as well as the little jets. So by size, you can move them around so that's so you can see the size difference in the twilight the large jet and small jet okay so they are and they are significant these jets are strong and work really really well we, we've we've talked about them before we've turned them on but we never actually showed you i don't think and uh we wanted to see if we could kind of come up with a new angle here maybe something you hadn't seen before and so one of the things that is really nice about these jets we have talked about this a little bit before but they're all adjustable, so you can turn each individual jet on or off or anywhere between right at the head of the jet. So you, there's so much adjustability for your therapy that they're really, really amazing. Okay, I'm gonna let Mary pop that one. As you can see, there, you, we always get asked this question and I, and I never really, I get asked enough where it, it must, you know, it's not, it's not obvious. And we've been doing this too long, so it seems obvious to us. People always ask, can you change those jets while there's water in it? And as you can see, Mary just did that, so yeah. it def definitely works. Absolutely. Now, a little something on the water height here. Those are out-of-water neck and shoulder jets, okay? And Mary and I primarily swim in this Challenger, so we're most focused on swim. So I'm actually going to show you the filtration housing. I'm trying not to rock so much and as you can see it's it's nearly to the top it's about two inches from the top so there's there's you know it's more towards the top than it is towards the bottom and of course there's two on this one so we prefer this height for swimming specifically um, doesn't necessarily make the out of water neck and neck and shoulder jets all the way out of the water but uh, we prefer the swim okay so and it can and, and these the jets still work Great. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, it, and it can go lower. So let's see if I can get up here. And that's right side up now. So that was what, when we did the one on the, on the panel, yeah. it was all backwards, I think, and sideways. Okay, it is hard to do this. So right now, as you can see, the water temperature is 95 because we knew we were going to be hanging around right here for a while. Okay, jets one. Oh, we're missing some VSPs on there. We did have some power outage. Yeah. Ooh, this is acting funny. So that we're going to have to figure out. <clears throat> That's interesting. I wonder why that is. We'll have to reset that whole thing. Yeah. So anyway, uh, then you've got, these are all your settings over here. Okay, lots to do on there. And then uh, that's kind of uh, bad timing. The lights on and off. <laughs> so it's going to be tough for us to turn these jets on with, uh, I'm going to spin this around now. Do, do, do. There we go. So it's going to be tough to turn these jets on with the VSPs uh, disappearing because the power went off and we haven't even uh, figured out what's going on yet. So this is this is true live. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let you take this over, Mayor. Okay. And talk about so the next yep. little thing on the list, and I'm going to actually reset it. Okay. While we're in it. Sure. I'm actually going to just come and show you these. Sorry to make anyone dizzy. I'm gonna maybe show you. 
this how do I flip I see it sorry everyone okay so this is the propulsion uh, jets in the h2x challenger series as you can see there are six jets and the current comes out of those six jets to swim against in the h2x trainer 15 there are four jets and it looks a little bit different the design of the jets hello <laughs> The design of the jets is a little bit different in the H2X trainer, but it's a very similar setup where the swim current comes out of those jets in the front, and those are the jets that you swim against. And then in the trainer 15 and the challenger 15, you have these diverter valves. One is there, the larger one is there. And there's a second one there, the larger one. And those divert or move the power of the pumps from the swim jets to the hot tub seats and the therapy cove, which the therapy cove is right there. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that too, but that's another really neat water feature in our swim spas. Um, so I'm gonna Hand this back to Ben, because I'm really terrible at holding it. All right, so now we're good to go. So since we had a power outage, you guys got to actually witness us reboot. Um, probably not supposed to do that while you're inside it, uh, but this is live, so we didn't really have a choice. So uh, well, well, and it's also good to know that, <laughs> that if that happened to anyone with a loss of right. power, that all you have to do is it. Don't do it while you're in it. Yeah, get out. Don't do what I just did. All right. So now right there, if you can see that, it says Jets 1. <clears throat> the Challenger has three pumps for swimming as well as the, the hot tub seats. But Jets 1 does not come up to the hot tub seats. It's only for the swim. So right now, you see those little bubbles moving? That means it's on low. Oh. Now it's on high. I just got Mary. She was standing in front of it, didn't know that was coming your VSP. So we'll put that up to high. VSP two. We're going high. So we've still got some left, but as you can see, we're, we're moving plenty of water. So they, they wanted us to put a rubber ducky in there. <laughs> How about we put Mary in there? So, hey Mary, just what I want you to do, walk out to the outside. It's moving me around back here. Go to the outside, and then I'm gonna turn it all the way up, and I want you to hop in it and let it push you back so everyone can see how strong this is. Whatever, whatever you like, don't hit your face on anything. So now we're cranked up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So as you can see, now I'll take this with me and take the ride. It, you can hear the water. It's it's not a joke. It, it moves some water. So now I'm in the safe corner. You can see that water is, is hauling away. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, let's see. I'm gonna turn this down and then I, we got a question. USB2, low. Okay, there we go. Can Jets 1 be off while the seat jets are on? Yes, it can. Uh, that's from Jane Dixon. So. Actually, we can show that. Yeah. And um, if you wanna just kind of show how I'm diverting the pressure. So right now it's running some heat. So I'm gonna take that and turn it down. So that jet one. So jets one, it's, it must be running a filter cycle. I, I don't even know what time it is, but it's running a filter cycle. Well, so, at the swim spot thinks it's only like three. Oh, that's three right. That's right, it reset the time. I was gonna say, yeah. it shouldn't be running a filter cycle now. So what I'll do is I'll put the VSPs on 20, okay? 
So right now you can see we're starting to move some water. Those are the VSPs because the, the jet one is only on low. And then Mary's going to divert it away. And the, the swim spa. and the therapy cove is on. And then the other diverter valve takes it from the swim jets and brings it to the outer water that controls the jet ski. Okay. Uh, Chris asked, are these the same controllers you have for the Trainer 15 series? And what is VSP again? So, Mary, what does VSP stand for? So, VSP stands for variable speed pumps. And the variable speed pumps are only in the H2X Challenger series. In the H2X Trainer series, there are two very large pumps as well. They just don't have a variable speed that's adjusted digitally, but it is adjusted with these diverter valves. So the diverter right. valve works the same in that one diverter valve in the H2X Trainer series takes the pressure or the Which or, or the other side of the swim spot. So the diverter valves do work exactly the same. Yeah. So there you go. You can see that seat is on. And then if you want to just highlight this amazing therapy cove here. Yep. So on the therapy cove, so Mary is 4 foot 10. Okay. With the Wi-Fi module, can you control the jet settings prior to getting in the spot? We'll talk about that in a second. Home Depot today. I really think I'm only 4 nine. But that's okay. Did you go by the, the theft thing at the door? Is that, is that how you measured or did you use a tape measure? No, no, at the, at the door they have the, <laughs> the lines with the height. So if you robbed it and then ran out, Mary apparently is only four foot nine at Home Depot. Okay. So the therapy this, cove, this cove, it is, is awesome. It is so great. And it hits like your entire body. I really wish I should, I should really use this more often. Yep, well, we're guilty of that. Uh, we are in a, a, a H2X Challenger 15D, Sheila. Okay, is there a filter to clean out daily similar to an underground pool? Uh, you don't have to do it daily on that, okay? So, therapy cove, the therapy seat, and the neck and shoulder seat. But to show you the filters again, in the, in the 15, whether it's a trainer or challenger, you have a single filter housing and then a double, okay? And like I said before, we like ours on the high side. So we fill it up. If you can see these lights are underwater, I'm kind of, I'm pointing, but they're not getting there. See those lights? They're underwater. We fill, when we top this off, we go about an inch and a half above those lights. And then when it gets down to about a half inch or so below them, we'll actually top it off. That's how, how we manage it, okay? And then you can see the lights. Oh, we gotta put the waterfalls on. Yeah, we can talk about that. Get over there. So see that handle right there? You've got the big handles are the diverter. Actually, actually that's a good subject yeah. to, to yeah. show. So these are the diverter valves again. The large valves are going to be the moving the pump. Pump from one end of the swim spot to the other end of the swim spot, or from the swim the swim jets to the therapy jets. And then you have this little medium size valve, which turns the awesome waterfalls on. I got and then, it. actually, you can probably see it really well here. These smaller valves are air valves. So the smallest valves are air. And if you look at the, the the therapy code jet, if I turn the air yep. off, right now it's just water coming out of each one of these jets. It's a very gentle massage. It's just a water massage. It feels really nice for a more gentle massage. And then when you inject the air or you turn the air valve on, fires it back all the way up. 
it's a little bit stronger. It adds the air so that you can feel the difference in the current that's coming out of those jets to make it a little bit more powerful. Yep. Give you a little bit more room. And then I'm going to... And then you also have the two air valves for the jetted seats in the back as well. And they do the same thing as, as that just did here. There you go. Now they're on high. So when you turn everything on, there's all sorts of... Oh, that feels nice. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> they're nice. There's all stuff moving. You could be swimming, waterfalls, therapy cove. All the seats are... And a Challenger can't actually get it all done. All right, I'm going to spin it back around and get my face out of it. All right, let's turn it down a little bit because now it's, it's noisy. I'm going to actually let you take that. It's pointing at you, so oh, if you turn it... <laughs> All right. Jane, I have a Challenger 15 Deep, and I've been using the timed swim setting. There is a high low option. It won't, it won't let you see the whole question right What now. is that controlling? Okay. So if you only have it on low, then that means that the Jets 1 is on low. When it's on high, then you your so? Jets your Jets 1 is on the high speed. We can look at that right now. I've been I finally learned how to use the time setting really great. All right. So now I'm going to hold this up here so you can see how it works. I think I know the exact button you're talking about. So when you go in the swim button, I'm going to turn these off now. okay, timed setting, timed workout right there. Okay. So 20 minutes, enter speed. Let's just say that's the speed check. So now it's starting. This button here, oh, it is a little challenging to do this at the same time as the camera. So that's the button I believe you're talking about. So right now, that main pump, that light is causing a glare right there, is off. And if you hit that button, it goes to one, that's on low. So that's jets one on low, and that's on high, okay? Now it's back off. I'm gonna spin this around so I can explain. Okay, so, in, in the Mary in the background there. So on that setting, just rem remember on a Challenger, the Jets 1 is always on the It's never on the hot tub seats. Jets 1 is a high and low, it's a two speed pump, and that's always for the swim. VSP 1 and 2 can be diverted from the to the hot tub seats. It is a little confusing. Air conditioning shut off. Thank God. So it is it is a little confusing, but it takes a little bit of getting used to and after a week or two you'll you'll kind of get, figure out which does what. Okay? So and I, it's funny, I always explain this. The big ones, the big handles are the diverter valves. The big ones steer the water. The little ones are air on and off. Most people leave them on and don't ever touch them. And then there's a mid, oddly sized one, and it's the only one. It's almost the same size as the diverter valve. This is the other diverter valve. This is for the waterfalls, okay? There you go. Now I'll just shut those back off. Okay, so do what did we Actually, miss? I think you just turned them back on. Oh, did you turn them off? <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, right. The one, the one thing that we want also, and we don't have, a dual temperature unit to show this to you, but in the dual temperature 19 foot swim spas, whether it's the H2X Trainer 19 or the H2X Challenger 19 or the Michael Phelps dual temperature unit, in the hot tub separate section, there's a wall that separates that hot tub section. There is a master blaster foot blaster jet in that swim spot. Maybe you can show them the picture? No, not really. I might be able to. 
I don't think that they show it because it's kind no, it's, of it's straight it's down against the wall. Yeah, you can't see it. You can kind of see it in this poster here, but <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to be live, and it's not that easy. Actually, you can. So this on this gigantic poster on the wall, and, and you can't really it doesn't do it justice. It's the size of the entire wall. You can see right there. This is a momentum. So you can see the clear separation, all right? And then inside, so obviously they're on the large swim slide, and then if you look down, you see that little guy right there, and that guy, and they are huge, absolutely huge foot jets. Foot jets. They're master blasters, 150 gallons of water a minute combined. They're amazing, okay? so. They are, they are significant. We have a couple of questions um, that we had before the live started today. And one of the questions, and I'll double check to see who the question came from, but while we're standing here, asked about whether or not those Ooh, yes. jets are able to change direction. Um, so I thought that would be a good question for Ben kind of to talk about. There's a little Sp bit of play, but... right. So if you look, and there's also really cool lights in there. I love those. I do too. So inside, actually, this is this is Jet One. Uh, maybe not. What's on right now? I think I put the VSPs on low. Yeah, you have them on low. So inside, you can feel the jet. It's pushing water out, so you're not going to get stuck in there. But you can feel the jet, and they're directional a little bit. So you can change them a couple of degrees. And just so you know, if you want a shortcut to where we'd go, we point them down, straight down, as much as possible. Okay. That question was from Ed in Virginia, and he has the, the H2X Challenger 19D. So there's a little bit of play. Yes. Yep, a little bit of play. It's actually a good question. We've never been asked that before. Right. So, We've got a couple of other questions here. Should we start the question time? Yeah. Should I set this up here? Do, uh, do, is there anything else that we should mention? I don't know. We probably forgot something. Yeah. It was a crazy, kind of a crazy, stupid day. There you go. You can start. I'll get my time. Okay. So, one of the questions that we got pre Facebook Live, if anyone has anything else that they'd like to ask, please send, send it in now. Okay, one of the questions is, there are many different flows. Is there a way to track swim distance with a Garmin or Apple Watch for training purposes? That's from Tiffany. So Tiffany, we, we use a Garmin 945. Um, it's a you know triathlon, every, actually it's like an every sport watch from Garmin. And we use the open, water swim setting in the watch with the GPS off. And it gives a pretty good estimate of your distance. Again, there's no perfect way to measure your basically swimming in a box full of water. Um, so we definitely use that um, and it kind of gives a good average. And it definitely, by I swim in here probably about three to four times a week and depending on how long I'm going or what my what my workout is with intervals or not it definitely is different depending on what my training is and the time that I've spent swimming so I think it's a very good estimate of, of, a, of average pace um, and I also do swim stroke so it's been a really long time I admit that I've been able to actually swim in a, in a real pool um but i would be able to compare my stroke rate and in the swim spa versus my stroke rate in the pool with time that's also a way to kind of measure distance as well so just that's what we use i haven't used the apple watch if they had an open water swim i'm not yeah, really sure that sure. they have that setting so it might not work quite I, as well i definitely don't think it works as well as yeah. from what we're told yeah um I also want to want to add that it's it's, it's going to be correct, but it's going right. to be consistent. Exactly. 
So you will always be able to measure improvement because it's consistent, okay? So uh, let's see, I've got one, ready? What is the difference in how water feels to swim in molten and air? So I'm, I'm assuming that's jetted in air is what you mean. So propulsion has a prop, okay, or something that's moving, whether it's a you know, hydraulic system, a prop system, whatever it is, it's actual prop 100% of water. And traditionally, that was always the best quality swim there was because the jetted swim spas uh, with air, you know, they kind of, they're a little blowy and, and it's a little challenging to see the bottom doesn't assist in you know you're swimming in a in a sweet spot so you need to be able to see the bottom so the trainer 15 if you're doing a good job taking care of your water uh, it works really really well okay um, it, the water is not hundred percent clear there is it is injected with air the whole claim to fame on the Challenger is that it's three pumps and it's airless so they're just big monstrous pumps that, that only use water. So the swim quality in the Challenger is better than most propulsion swim spas that are available on the market. Um, we just did a wet test last weekend, and um, I, I won't name names. They, they swam two of our competitors' propulsion and chose the Challenger, okay? So when we tell you, you know, the Challenger is, is that sweet spot, it is pretty fantastic. And you can see the beginning of, sorry, no. You could see the beginning of the video. I showed that that current. It's. Wide. I was just gonna say it's very wide and it's very clean. Yes. So it's very easy to swim in. There's not a lot of turbulence, and there's not a lot of visual impairment in the air. So. so I guess the biggest difference would be sheer speed and power. Right. Where the propulsion is going to be the most powerful, uh, the Challenger being next, and then jetted behind that. And then um, the other difference is going to be visibility. So when you're wearing goggles in propulsion or a uh, or, or a Challenger, you're going to be able to see you know the lines on the bottom. So every time you breathe and you come back down, you're centering, breathe, center, breathe, center. So it made it does make it a little easier to learn swimming. It seems to me that people get good swimming in a Challenger really fast. Yeah. And it's because the the current is so wide. Okay, so it doesn't have that super high gear that the Michael Phelps has, which is like that crazy speed, but it's got, the, the swim quality is really smooth and really, really nice. So for us, uh, we swim Ironman, that's more long distance, less, uh, you know, overall sprint work, although we do, we do train that way, but for, you know, swimmer swimmers are swimming short course stuff and, you know, 50, 100 yards. Can you still get a good swim in the Trainer 15D just for average swimmer? Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, um, we have swam in them many, many times, and it is is fantastic. Especially if you're, if you're, if you say, "Hey, I'm not a swimmer, swimmer. I don't want to be a swimmer, swimmer. I just want to swim from time to time." Perfect. It's the the number one most sold swim spa in the world for a reason. It does a great job. Um, love it, love it. Still, I mean, the cha the Challenger has stolen our hearts. <laughs> The Trainer 15 Deep, if that's not on your top three swim spas in the entire world, uh, you're, you're missing the boat. So it, it is that awesome. I mean, it, how, how long would a Trainer 15 last? If, if we could keep anything in stock right now, a Trainer 15 would probably yeah. sell in like six seconds. <laughs> so they're, they're that popular. All right, your turn. What is the weight of the pool? Though this is not a pool and we should never call it a pool because it's for all intents and purposes and legal reasons, it is a portable hot tub or a swim spa. Um, but what is the weight of this swim spa complete full of water? That's from Gary in New York. That's a really challenging question to answer because we have so many different models and they are all different weights depending on what size and what height and how much water is in it. Um, but I will tell you that our website, either our h2xswimspas.com or michaelfeldswimspas.com website, or you can even go to masterspas.com directly and it'll bring you to either of those pages. They have all of the specs with the height, with the height, with the weight, with the depth, everything. And um, for each individual swim spa. So depending on which swim spa you're interested in, it will give you the dry and the full weight and all the 
specs for that particular model. So difficult to answer that question without a very specific model. So I have the second part of that last question. Let me see if I can understand this. Does air enter the water that you're swimming against or is the swimmer only aware of the movement of the water? I'm interested in a trainer 12. Um, you can't really feel the difference between jetted with air and without. If you were to close your eyes, it wouldn't feel any different, I don't think. Um, the trainer 12 obviously is going to be jetted with air. So I think you kind of can, though. I think, I don't, I don't think it's so. kind of like when you inject <laughs> air into the... When yeah, but on those big pumps, you're getting the whole thing right there. So you're not, it's yeah. like on the neck and shoulder seat when you turn right. the air off and they're so strong yeah, that's that it barely true. does anything. It's a little bit, it's just more bubbly though. Yeah, so, but if you closed your eyes, yeah. I don't know that you would necessarily feel the difference. So if you open your eyes, you're going to see the, the, the air in there, but I, I don't think it really feels um, different. If you were, let's say you were in there doing some breaststroke, um, I don't think you're going to feel that difference. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then lastly, I would just say, uh, this is Ann in California, looking at the 12 footer, just keep in mind, you 12 feet get small in a hurry. And if you're tall or if anyone's tall is gonna be swimming in there, uh, we do recommend going up one size for swimming. If it's recreational and a little bit of swimming, knock yourself out, trainer 12 can't be beat. Yeah. Um, if, it's, if it's hardcore swimming you're looking for, probably wanna go up a size. You do your, you had, that was only one question. I kind of jumped ahead. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay, this is Jane in BC, British Columbia. I have a Challenger 15D. Sometimes I can be swimming along in the sweet spot. Then all of a sudden I'm swimming into the wall without changing my exertion. Do the jets have a cycle or are they supposed to? Oh. What happened? It disconnected and then came back on. Are Everybody we still there? good? I think we're good. <laughs> so I, I saw the 42 and 45 change, so I think we're, I think we're good. Okay. okay. Could this be a swishing effect I need to get used to swimming in smaller space? Do you think so you should repeat that? I have or? a challenge. I think okay. we got it. I have, right. a, I have a Challenger 15D. Sometimes I can be swimming along in the sweet spot, then all of a sudden I'm swimming into the wall without changing my exertion. Do the jets have a cycle or are they supposed to be consistent? Could this be a swishing effect I need to get used to swimming in a smaller space? I'm actually going to take this and turn it around and show you something. And Jane, we love that you love your Challenger 15D. Yes. We think it's pretty awesome too. So, can you turn on, yeah. actually, put on uh, VSP to 1515. Okay, so we're just going to turn on some gentle propulsion here. You don't even have to put the one on. Oh, it's still on the timed. You gotta go oh. down there. So when you're on the timed workout, it doesn't let you use this panel on the Challenger. Will you hit speed speed? Yep. So you can just hit speed up and it should speed up. Do you want the jets no. one on? No. Okay. So I just wanna be able to go. Is that 1515? Give us just one. That's just one on low. Okay. Put it on high. All right. So what I want you to do, Mary, stand in the center, face the wall. Okay. It's just loud. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So I want, I want you, yep, go down to the bar. the bar so it won't knock you over. <laughs> Grab the bar. Jump. There you go. So what happens is water is always going to take the path of least resistance, right? So now Mary's blocking that water and it's coming around her. If you're swimming and you're dead in the center, the water is going to break on both sides of you like this. That's a better... If you are swimming and you start to veer off to one side, just a little bit, which is gonna happen, your muscles get fatigued, they get tired. Now, actually, Mary, do that again for me, and then stay there. 
So what's happening right now, right there, see that water is steering around her? You can see that little arc right there? What happens is when you're swimming back here in the sweet spot and you come off to the side, you're actually steering the water. And what can happen, because the Challenger definitely does not run cycles, is the water can start doing a little circle in the box. Now, all propulsion swim spas are a little bit more prone to that, but it can happen in the Challenger. The difference is the Challenger corrects itself really fast, and then all of a sudden you feel like you're in the center of that sweet spot again. So all that's happening is you're steering the water. Again, we're moving a bunch of water inside a box, and when you it's going to steer sometimes, okay? So that's all that's happening there, uh, Jane. So don't worry about it. If you feel it, just get back in the center and wait a second and it'll correct itself. All right? All right, Mayor. All right. Cut that off. All right. It's not going to be, I'm sitting in the seat. It's not going to be over. All right. Let's, all right. So there you go. So what do we have? Any last minute questions? Oh, I, I had one last question from Colleen in New York who asked about heating the swim spas in the winter here in the Northeast. And we've definitely mentioned that in, in several of our Facebook Lives, but the way that Master Spas insulates the swim spas with that open cell isonine insulation and then the snow load covers that are included, these are made for year round use here in the Northeast, in Winnipeg, Canada, in British Columbia, Canada, um, all throughout the, you know, the, the North because of how efficient it is. So they're made for that. Uh, we want you to use them all year round. We want you to keep them heated so that the temperature is where you're gonna use it the most. That's, that's the claim to fame with Master Spas. We are a super efficient product um, and we want you to be able to use these all year round. Agreed. Uh, there was a question that came in there. Comment. Sean, loving 15 trainer uh, deep there. Awesome. Two months now. Absolutely awesome. This is. I don't know what that means. Uh, getting ready to pour concrete, Brian. I can't read all that, so we'll hit that question later on when we when we log in. Um, it just when I do the live, it doesn't show me because we're just on the phone there. Right. One of the things that I wanted to say is that we know lots of you are waiting patiently for your swim spas yes. and hot tubs and that they are so, so worth the wait. Yep. You are going to be so excited when they come and you're going to love it. You're going to use it. And, you know, you've got some, if you have some time before you're waiting for delivery, come and check out our other Facebook lives. Uh, we've got lots of really great information about all of our different master spas, swim spas on there. So we'd love for you to send us a comment or even a Facebook message. We'd love to hear from you. And if anybody has any topic for a Facebook Live coming up, we love to get some some new ideas, new fresh ideas on that as well. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> they're backed up until February, but I keep upgrading along the way. Awesome. That's, that's the a spirit. great idea. That's that's the spirit. That's the spirit right there. <laughs> No, don't stop. You 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 can't help it. You can't help it. So so the so the question is, do you go from the 15D to the Challenger? You I saw you I saw that pop up before. Um, you know, if if you're looking to swim uh, and you're a swimmer, I would say yes. If you're a recreational, um, I would say no. Don't don't bother because the Trainer 15 is awesome. So up to you. All right. Uh, okay. So we'll hit this. Uh, we're thinking about a Therapool 13. Any thoughts? Uh, lots of thoughts just depends what you're looking to do if the, the primary goal is recreation relaxation and fun Therapool 13 difficult to beat okay the the price point is is right and um, and the quality the same we don't we don't there's no difference in quality from a Michael Phelps momentum to a Therapool you know SE the smallest swim spa available no difference in quality life a lot you know length of life or any of that stuff so our quality of components the whole thing they're they're done right you know, start to finish. It's just about what, what you need the right. swim spa right. for and what you want it for. There, There's something for everybody. Right, right on. So we'll, we'll get back in there. If, if you have a question, if we didn't answer it, we'll be a bit, you know, big, big in there tonight. <laughs> 
and uh, actually it might just be Mary because my phone has not worked all day um, it's been completely useless I may leave it at the bottom of the swim spot um, if we get <laughs> if we get some you know power at the house uh, Mary's power just came right back on mine's still off we're on generator but the Wi-Fi is not working at all and the phones are not working either so anyway any updates on doing your live in the Trainer 15 model? We almost had no choice but to do that today. Um, so you will see that in the future. And when normal travel opens back up, you'll see a lot more from our lives than our Challenger 15. So not that we uh, don't love to be here. You know, we had some really neat things planned and, until uh, Corona came along. You know, we, we had one planned for London. Yeah. There was going to be a, a Facebook Live from London from the Triathlon Expo. Um, but, but we're hoping that as things start improving, we'll have some different right. uh, locations for lives. And that is definitely in our hopes uh, to do one in a trainer. So. Absolutely. Especially that trainer 15. Yeah. Okay, guys. We'll see you uh, in two weeks. Next week is vacation week. Yes. Um, we wouldn't be scheduled to be here anyway. And we'll see you the following I think week. it's August 19th. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday, August 19th. I can't, but, I can't, I can't do that. Uh, we'll see you in two Wednesdays. All right, two Have Wednesdays. Have a great night. Bye, everyone.